I'm Melanie Chacon with Tula TV, and I am here with Pat Jesse, and she's the founder of the Stansbury Art and Literary Society. Pat, thanks for joining us. So I know we've interviewed you, bef interviewed you before last year, and you told us all about your artwork. So let's touch just a little bit on that. You're an artist. Can you tell us what kind of artist you are? I do fine arts photography mm -hmm. and take pictures mostly of the flowers that grow in my own yard. And I'm also a master gardener, so the and specialize in roses. Oh, okay. And a lot of my pictures are of of roses. So you have really beautiful flowers to take pictures of. Yes, that's I do. Great. I do close-ups. Okay, that's cool. Thanks for sharing that with us. And um, so now we want to focus more on the Stansberry Art and Lit itself. So can you tell us how you founded it and how it came to be? Well, it was mostly because there just wasn't any place to be able to show your pictures. And As an independent artist? Right. Okay. Where I moved from, we always, mm -hmm. there were always jury shows going on, and you could always submit entries. Mm -hmm. And here, there was nothing, so it's like, what do you do? And so the, the idea gradually formed, and that, you know, we've got to do something yeah. about getting a an organization going mm -hmm. and to get artists together and it actually people had already started mm -hmm. uh, talking about it so after going to a watercolor class and seeing a room full of artists mm -hmm. it was like hey let's do something mm -hmm. and we had our uh, informal meeting at the end of 2010 and then okay actually started, got enough interest in 2011 of January, mm -hmm. and enough people came, mm -hmm. and it's been growing ever since. And there's a lot of talented people in Tuella County. And we keep meeting them, people keep coming. Some have come, some don't come as often, but it is a place where people can show their artwork. Mm -hmm. We have a project every week, every month, and that people do artwork to show off a theme. Oh. And we also have presentations, and we've had people from other organizations come and talk, mm -hmm. and we'll be doing more of that. Do you do classes as well? We haven't gotten to that point. One of, a several of our members have mm -hmm. individual classes. Okay. And, and teach. Well, you guys are all artists, so you probably don't need classes. <laughs> So, what kind of artists are part of your organization? Well, we had one artist that moved here from California mm -hmm. and was selling her watercolor flowers and p other pictures for up to $10,000 a piece. Wow. Yes. Yes. That's beautiful. They were. They are. Yes. And that uh, she's even written a watercolor book. Uh, another artist... Uh, She's not here tonight that you could see her work, but mm -hmm. she's off doing some artwork. Uh, it's been doing scenes of Utah and oh. is getting very well known. Mm -hmm. And you can see her artwork on, on, the, uh, on a Facebook page or just by going to Rachel Pettit on, uh, on the uh, Internet. Just searching her name. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, and she is getting very, very popular. Nice. It's good to see. Yeah, yeah, that's great to see. So it's um, a lot of watercolor artists, um, oil painting oil. artists. It's oil painting, too, mm -hmm. because Rachel has been doing some quite a bit of oil work. Okay. And we have other uh, people that do different crafts. Mm -hmm. So we're not just strictly uh, paint pictures yeah. type of thing. Mm -hmm. We try to get anyone who is creative to uh, come. Mm -hmm. What if someone wants to be, but they can't draw? Or they feel like, I'm not good at taking pictures, but I want to be a part of this organization? They're welcome, because we're, we're not going to refuse people. And uh, it's surprising if they do come. It would surprise them to probably find that they could be creative. Mm -hmm. It's in all of us, so mm -hmm. we could draw it out of them. <laughs> draw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
awesome. Yeah, that was funny. So what can we do here at your organization when, you're, when your groups meet? What do you do? Well, we have a uh, short business meeting just to cover uh, essentials, get things, uh, keep things well organized. Okay. And then we will have a presentation. Mm -hmm. And after that, we have uh, go around the table. We meet here at the TATC building, mm -hmm. and we go around the table, and everyone has a chance to show what they did for the project and to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And it, it's just been excellent because we, it's good for so many laughs. It's just mm -hmm. fun, absolute mm -hmm. fun. And that's what people enjoy the most. That's really great. So you guys share your work with each other every month. We do. And we critique it. Mm -hmm. And if people are running into problems and working on a piece of art, they can bring it. Mm -hmm. They can ask for suggestions, uh, which we are glad to give. And it's amazing just what uh, comes out of it. That's wonderful. It's a wonderful organization that you put together. So I'm sure so many people are so grateful to you for that. So, I hope so because it's been fun doing it. I'm and sure. I'm now sort of backing off. I've grown older mm -hmm. and need to start working on my own artwork mm -hmm. and want to get some stuff done. All right, well, Pat, Jesse, she's an artist herself, and she's the founder, as I said. Um, how can we find your organization? Uh, come to a meeting on the fourth Tuesday. We have a notice okay. all, every month in the newspaper. Okay, fourth and Tuesday of every month. And at 7 o'clock. Okay. And we meet in the upstairs, uh, one of the rooms upstairs, which okay. you could get directions at the desk. Okay. And everyone, anyone, is anyone. welcome. All right, we'll find him on Facebook. And um, thank you so much, Pat, for joining us again and for sharing this group with us.